hello guys welcome to my channel previously we have completed file operation and edit operation successfully in this video we are going to concentrate on remaining options that is format menu we will be having a word wrap menu item as well as here we are having a status bar so we are going to concentrate on this both uh, menu items here first let's search for uh, status string such so status strip actually so let's drag and drop it here it will actually bring something here we need to select a status uh, label and we shall uh, name it as initially let's say it has line number one comma column number one so column one so that's what it should have initially and uh, based on uh, the selection uh, happening here it should change so let's go to the property of uh, word wrap and uh, check on uh, click uh, it should be set to true so the same goes for uh, view status bar and check on uh, click is equal to true basically it will allow to check this menu item whenever it is being clicked here so that's what we are going to do in the design part when, when then we can uh, move on to coding part here so let me show an example here word wrapping here the word wrapping is enabled which means the content will uh, take uh, the possible uh, space that is available here uh, instead of uh, splitting it into line by line it will uh, take the available space so when i disable this word drop see it will take uh, a single line itself so in that case giving this status bar makes sense since everything is contained within a single line and the line is without bounds here we don't have a boundary for line and uh, but while we are word wrapping it will uh, take the available space here and just try to stretch it so disabling it will uh, make the boundary of the line infinity so it we can write anything we want so that's what word drop is let's go here and select the form and in the form load event we can uh, write some code here so first let's uh, set uh, the wrap word wrap uh, property of uh, text area to what is being set on uh, word wrap uh, format itself yeah and then finally we can go and set status bar dot enabled equal to not of word prop format menu dot checked only when a word prop is disabled having a status bar makes sense because uh, having a number of line will make sense if a word prop is enabled there is no division of lines it is just occupying the contained space so in that case it won't make sense so let's get on to this so if status bar dot view menu dot enabled is true so when this is enabled let's have the checked as true so it will uh, display the status bar otherwise it will not so the status let me rename this status content let's say status content dot visible is false or no so the status bar should be visible only when the status bar in the view menu is selected so whenever this uh, menu item is checked 
we will be displaying this status bar otherwise we will be uh, hiding it we need to write few more methods before this is over and uh, the first one is we need to write this for word wrap so let's go there and whenever the checked property is changed so whenever this property is changed we need to do something here so text area dot word wrap is equal to word drop what whether it's checked or not so if it is checked it will change the text area and the word drop property of uh, text area itself so it's simply straightforward we can uh, right away assign this to text area dot uh, word wrap and whenever uh, this is enabled or disabled we need to change the status of uh, status bar itself in uh, view menu so it is enabled whenever it is disabled word wrap is disabled basically we are repeating uh, what we have written before so it's okay so let's write another code uh, check uh, is equal to true always and finally the, we need to decide whether the status content will be visible or not that is that is status bar at the bottom will be visible or not it depends on what's happening to the status of uh, st menu item in uh, view menu so in uh, demo it will make sense basically if the word wrap is enabled we are uh, enabling the word wrap uh, in uh, this particular uh, text area itself so you can observe the change in the text area and uh, we are uh, trying to check whether the word wrap is enabled or disabled checked or not checked or unchecked if it is uh, checked it means that uh, the status bar should be disabled so not of word wrap checked and it's uh, just the opposite when it is uh, now unchecked and uh, when it is enabled it will always be ticked and uh, the status content will be uh, visible only if uh, the status bar in the view menu is enabled and that's as simple as that and uh, we need to do the same in uh, the status bar itself and here we need to use the same property the same event handler so for uh, whenever the checked property of uh, the status bar under view menu is changed we need to change the content visibility status content dot visible is equal to status bar under view menu whether it's checked or not so basically that's it and finally we need to add an event handler for uh, text areas change selection changed whenever uh, the selection is being changed here we need to change um, the status bar and that is uh, line number one column number one so we need to give uh, some line number so let's go on to it selection changed so let's uh, write a function called update uh, status here So go ahead and create a method update status. We need to write few quotes here. This method is basically to get the line number and column number of the cursor we are placing. So let's get on to it first. Let's get the position here. So text area dot selection start. So we got the position from the position we need to get the line int line is equal to text area dot we have a method with the rich text box that is get line from care index and we will be giving this position we got 
and we need to add on if it needs to make sense so we got the line number by using this method and passing the position we got from selection start and finally we need to find the column so in the column is equal to position minus so it's basically a formula here text area dot get first actually it's not this function of current line yeah so we obtained uh, the line number and column number by using the built-in functions of rich text box itself and now we need to set this in uh, status bo so status dot text equal to the line number l n space plus line and then we need to add a semicolon column sorry comma space column and then we need to add col so we have set the status here and basically it's showing an error because it is not renamed just select it here and it will show two step status label something and we need to change the name to status here so we have named it to status and the error should go i think we are done here we can see the demo so let's start this application and see the demo so there it is let's type something so in if word drop is disabled you will be having a line of infinite length so this line length goes on 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 and there is no ends because the word wrap is disabled and so let's enable this word wrap now when this word wrap is enabled it will uh, just fit the content to the available space here you could see it is fitting based on the need this is word wrap and uh, when it is enabled uh, the status bar will be disabled and uh, the status bar won't be shown here and uh, while when we disable the word wrap it will take more uh, all this content will be displayed in the same line basically and the status bar will be enabled and the status bar will be shown and based on uh, where i place the cursor this status is changing too and so i can basically uh, you see wherever I place the cursor it changes accordingly and I can also uncheck this and so the status bar will be gone so we have completed word group and uh, status bar in uh, view menu so in the remaining videos uh, we have less option font and as well as we have uh, these two options so it will be over soon in one or two videos so thanks guys for watching this video Hope you like it. Like and share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel for future videos. Thank you.